Question number 7. We are given the total surface areas formula which is A is equals to pi R L plus pi R square and we are given the values of R and L. All we have to do is find the value of A. So we say A is equals to pi instead of pi you might use 3.142 so it's up to you either use the button of pi or use this value it's up to you okay times pi pi times r which is 6.2 times l which is 10.8 plus r square pi again and then r square which is 6.2 squared okay so just use your calculator and you will get 331.12 and so on 331.122 two. three significant figures it will be 331 okay for part 2 we have to make L the subject of the formula so first step what I will do is it's positive on the right hand side this whole value pi r squared I will take it to the left hand side so it will become a negative okay so it will become a minus pi r square is equals to pi r l now these two values are being multiplied with l over here on the other side they will be divided okay so it will become a minus pi r squared this everything we have we will divide it by pi r and this will become l okay so this is my answer a minus pi r squared whole over pi r okay now let's have a look at part b1 Rena walks 10 kilometers at 4 kilometer per hour and then a further 8 kilometers at 5 kilometers per hour so this is the distance i have given and this is the speed and again a further distance and then again some speed and we have to find the average speed so first of all for the average speed you should know the formula is total distance over total time okay so first of all what is the total distance first she walked 10 and then she walked further 8 so the total distance is 10 plus 8 which is obviously 18 what about total time are we given time no but can we find time yes why because the formula to find time is distance divided by speed okay you might want to learn this triangle the triangle earlier I gave you can make another triangle and this is the other triangle okay to find the distance we will multiply speed into time to find speed we will say distance divided by time and to find time we will say distance divided by speed okay so what is the distance the distance for the first part was 10 kilometers divide by its speed which is 4 and then a further 8 kilometers divide by its speed which is 5 okay now 10 plus 8 is 18 and then when you add this in your calculator you will get 4.1 okay or 41 over 10 exactly the same thing and then further simplifying it you will get 4.390 and so on remember I have to show at least four significant figures and then I can write dots sorry the final answer will be to three significant figures 4.39 now let's see the next the next part second part is Dariela walks 8 x kilometer at 5 kilometer per hour and then again a further this much distance at this much speed we have they, ha they have given us the average speed so we have to work back to find the value of x why do they give very difficult names to pronounce anyways um, this is exactly the same as we did before all we have to do is solve it using our algebra okay so first of all what is the total to find the average speed the formula is exactly the same thing total distance divided by total time total distance is this one so it is x plus x plus 4 okay it is x plus x plus 4 
which becomes x plus x is 2x plus 4 okay so I found my total distance what about total time total time is again distance divided by speed so first the distance was x its speed was 5 and a further distance was x plus 4 and its speed was 10 okay and you know whenever we have to add or subtract a fraction the denominator should be same and either we can find the LCM which is obviously 10 or we can just multiply cross multiply to find the LCM uh, or, or if you don't want to find the LCM or so if I can start with 5 I know if I multiply 5 two times I will get exactly the same so this is what I'm going to do this is just in case if you're wondering how to find the LCM it's very simple I write here 5 and 10 and I I will how can I divide 5 is with 5 5 times 1 is 5 5 times 2 is 10 again I will need 2 to get rid of 2 so when it's 1 we don't need to do anything else so 2 times 1 is 2 so now as I can see both of them are 1 is done so final thing I just multiply these two to get my LCM so 5 times 2 is 10 so 10 is my LCM to make 5 10 I have to multiply it with 2 I cannot just multiply with the denominator I should multiply with the numerator so and to make 10 10 I don't have to do anything okay so eventually it becomes 2x plus x plus 4 with a common LCM denominator which is 10 okay so this is my total time this is my total distance so the formula was average speed is equal to total distance divided by total time which is 2x okay 2x plus another x becomes 3x 3x plus 4 divided by 10 I can cross it on the left hand side to multiply it okay so it becomes but remember when I multiply it will be multiplied with the whole equation okay so it will become 10 times 2 is 20x 10 times 4 is 40 divided by 3x plus 4 okay or I can write it over here 3x plus 4 now this is my total distance over total time and this is equals to the average speed which is which we are already given 7 so now I will cross it on this side so it will become um, 20x plus 40 is equals to 7 times 3 again this whole thing will be multiplied with 7 okay so it will be like that 3x plus 4 so it will be 20x plus 40 is equal to 7 times 3 is 21x 7 times 4 is 28 I want to make my x on this side this x I will bring it here and this 28 I will bring on this side okay so both of them will become negative so this will be this side I have 40 28 will become negative is equal to 21x minus 20x okay so 40 minus 28 is 12 and 21x minus 20 uh, 20x is just 1x so 12 is equals to x okay now let's see if we, yeah, we have further parts c1 Priyanta sells her model car for $19.8 at a profit of 20%. Calculate the original price for the model car. Now, if the form, there is a way I'm going to give you, and if you get this equation correctly, then there is no reason why you get the wrong answer. Okay, so the two things we are given is a dollar, and the other thing we are given is a percentage. Okay, and obviously she she bought the car, so it was a cost. And then she got a profit okay if somebody got a loss we will write a negative here and then we write a loss and then it was a selling price okay selling price or the cost can we or we can also say the cost is our original price okay it's our original price okay exactly the same thing so the cost we don't know and it is what we are looking for this is my X the profit is said in dollars was 19.8 and the selling price 
oh no the she sold for 19.8 sorry the selling price was dollar 19.8 right the profit we don't know and what about the percentage All, always remember the original price percentage is always a hundred okay and then how much of the profit percentage she had was 20 percent in the percentage line because it is a percent so 100 plus 20 is 120 always remember your one of your horizontal lines will be complete and one of your vertical lines should be complete okay and then you can just solve any question now you will divide your horizontal line always and which one will be up the one which has x on its horizontal line okay so this one has x on its horizontal line so it will be 19.8 this one will be the numerator the other one will be the denominator and what we will multiply it with with what we are looking for is the cost okay is this is what we are looking for so what we have here is 100 okay and if you do in your calculator you will get you will get 16.5 okay now part 2 finally we have a name which is easier to pronounce Dave sells his model car for dollar $x at a profit of Y percent. Find an expression in terms of X and Y for the original price. So again, we are looking for the original price of this model car. Write your answer as a simple fraction, three marks. It is exactly the same thing. We are given a dollar. We are given a percentage. Then there is some original price. And then it's a positive profit. And this will total... Our selling price okay the original price is what we are looking for so it's a big X why I'm writing a big X because uh, the the selling is dollar X so the selling is dollar this one X okay so this is what we are looking for and the profit is we don't know how much he made the profit in dollars but we know the profit in percentage was Y okay so I write it here so, and now originally I said it is always a hundred right originally the percentage is always a hundred so this becomes hundred plus y right now again exactly the same thing we are looking for this one here so this value is our complete why I'm saying complete because we want our answer is in X and Y so this is complete this stays up because this is what we are looking for so it becomes x over 100 plus y times what times this value which we are looking for again all we know is 100 so we'll multiply it with 100 now this is our answer but this is not in a simple fraction so x times 100 is 100 x over 100 plus y and it is done